Hi everybody, it's Queen Bee Mary again, and this is my dinner for tonight. I am having um, carne asada, carnitas. There's the uh, soupy chili it was in. I poured on my right rice. My got my mushrooms, my mini cucumbers, my cherry tomatoes, my green onions, and my Catalina sauce, along with zero. And yes, that is full of water. So let's turn this around and let's get to eat. Oh, sorry guys. Let me put my finger in the way. So, anyways, let me get this where you can see it. Because I have to sit on the floor. I'm trying to do the oh, it keeps getting my finger in the camera. Sorry guys. Okay, here we go. Try to set this up so you can see my food. There we go. Uh, trying to get this situated. There we go. I don't know how far back I need to put this. But anyways, I guess that's good enough. Anyways, welcome back to the, my show. My look. Yeah. It's Queen Bee Mary. Um, so today... I made this fresh just a bit ago. Uh, I'm gonna say a prayer, and I am going to dig in. Okay, so today, today is one of those days. Hold on. Sorry, I'm, I'm literally in the living room sitting on the floor and I need cushion. <laughs> so I get so higher. So, but anyways, oh, let's see here. Um, today, woke up and feeling horrible today. Like I said, I just moved to Florida. Been under a lot of stress. Uh, come to find out, my oldest daughter had to get a test done. COVID test done because she's been sick but she got the results today and it came back negative so I'm happy that weight is off my chest mm. I love mini cucumbers and um, she's happy too which I'm glad a lot of people praying for her Oh. I'm gonna move these out of the way. There's my carnitas. There. They are so good. Here's the chili salsa bowl in there. Salsa verde. I'm gonna pour it on my white rice and pour a little bit back on top of these. It's so good. Ah, oh, there we go really good um so if you like you can like subscribe and leave comments i think my comments is now open because it was turned off so it should be um on now uh so this is my first video well this is my second mukbang video i uh, will be doing two a week depending how I feel and I will have some story times like um, I do tell ghost stories I have been raised in a lot of places where there are spirits and unfortunately here at this place that we are staying in for two months because the job is paying for it it does have its ghost here because um i'm seeing it i have seen the black shadow but then again it could be the black shadow that's always followed us all my life because it's something i get it anyways hmm nice and hot nice and tender Mm. 
So, I went to go see a doctor yesterday, since I'm new out here. I went to go see my primary care doctor. He's really nice, but they do things different out here. I'm not used to it. Um, as far as blood work. Back in Kansas, my doctors would be like, fast, come back in the middle of the week, and fast the night before, so you can do your blood work. Okay. I hear they have you wait over a month. Then you fast, go take your blood work, and then I think after that week or two or three afterwards, they'll make an appointment for you to come in and talk to you about your blood work. I need it done before way then because I haven't been feeling good since I moved out here. Um, I do have cirrhosis of the liver. Hmm. I'm due to diabetes. Don't drink that much. I don't drink on special occasions. So, ah, I put green onions on my rice. Oh yeah. Gotta have my green onion. <laughs> then, I go to the doctor's yesterday. I come home, I'm fine. I wake up this morning. I'm not feeling it. I start feeling body aches, everything. And I know that this thing out here is, I've been out here pretty bad in Florida. So, I mean, they had you distance from inside the office and people. That still don't matter. It's closed in place. So I'm praying and hoping that I start feeling better in the next couple of days. I do have some antibiotics they had to put me on because I had this sore on my arm that was hurting. So I'm on that. But I'm hoping everything else goes okay. I just, I don't, yeah, but my health issues, I don't need that nasty virus, because it will knock me down. So, especially right now, because next month, my daughter says she's coming up for Thanksgiving depending if I'm still here or not. I want to go back home to Kansas. I don't like Florida. It's not my thing. Mm. It is so good. Um. Yeah, it was really happy to know tonight when my daughter texted me that her test came back negative. Oh, I was so relieved. I cried. I literally cried. Those are my babies. I don't care how old they get. They're my babies. So. Mm. Really good. What do I do to have my vegetables? Raw vegetables. Paper towels. And yes, yeah, sometimes, or oh, most of the time, I'm sorry, I don't like to wear makeup. So excuse my mess tonight. I really don't like wearing makeup. Um, if nobody likes the way I look, you know, God made me who I am, and that's just me. So, but you will, I will sometimes wear makeup. Anyways, there's that big old bite. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. 
I love this, especially the sky on your side. Of... Oh, sorry guys, my alarm's going off. A bite? Look at that. Nice and juicy. Take that bite. Mmm. I love this room. I wish my daughter was here, my youngest. When I was in Kansas, I would cook this. I all kinds of Mexican food. I should eat it. I heard her fiance. My husband isn't a Mexican food eater. He likes his meat and taters. So, he's a southern boy. He's in Tennessee. But, Try not to eat too spicy because of my health issues. Sometimes I can ha can't handle it. But today I'm handling it. Mmm. Oh, mm. That's so good. Let me try to scoop this back a little bit more, see if it helps. There we go. That's better. Yay! My sauce. And my mushroom. <laughs> I love these white bread mushrooms. I never used to eat mushrooms before until I saw Sauce Queen. She went to them in ranch. I was like, hmm. So... I started dipping in my ranch. I was like, oh my god, they taste so good. Um, I guess I never did like the texture of mushrooms, but I guess I got over that. So now I use them. I eat them. I use them. I eat them. But I eat them either in ranch or Catalina sauce now. Catalina sauce is actually one of my favorites. Um, yeah. It's really good. Okay, let's dig into this some more. Remember, I'm not a big eater, so I might not finish it all. Mm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Zero Gatorade. Gotta have it. Since I'm a diabetic. And um, I have low blood pressure. When I first became a diabetic in 87, my first child would tell me to stay away from salt. So I learned through all those years to stay away from salt. Now, I don't like salt, and I have to have salt, and I don't like it, so they said, in order to put what I need in my body, to drink two bottles of Gatorade a day. So, Gatorade. I'm not a big fan of Gatorade, but it's good when you do need it. Because if I don't, I get really dizzy. So... I got really dizzy, and then my blood pressure will bottom out like today. It was so bad when I woke up. And I pray to God every day that I wake up and thank Him every day. But I woke up this morning, everything was aching and um, started getting my head and dizzy really quick. So I got this blood pressure cut. I was around my wrist. And I put it on. I took my blood pressure. I have to do it standing and sit. Do it standing. Kept ready. Reading error, which means my blood pressure was really bottomed out. That I had to hurry up and sit down before I passed out. So, did that. Sat down. Checked my blood pressure. It was 134 over whatever which went up pretty hard just to sit down. So I stood back up 
and I did it again and it was like 91 so it's crazy um, and I think the reason why I went up so high is I was sitting down because my body's hurt and when your body hurts your, your pressure goes up so it was crazy oh my god it is mm. so good so good. You're excuse the lighting. There's not much lighting in this apartment. I'm surprised my little one's not around here. He must be hiding somewhere. Nope, not in the bucket. Anyway, let's do another mushroom. If you hear any noise in the background, it's the old man. Good. Mm. I love eating my stuff. Love my spicy foods. But I sweat when I eat. My forehead so sweating really bad. I'm like I've been running. <laughs> One thing I can say about Florida, it's really humid, but I feel so sad every time I see somebody homeless out, out in the streets, sitting on the mid, mid, middle media, wanting money. I've seen a lot of homeless veterans out here, and it just, it just sucks how everybody is not able to keep their homes or anything like that because of this crisis i thank god for what i have even though i don't want to be here in florida I was thinking, though, maybe this weekend I'm gonna go to like McDonald's or something. I'm buying a lot of burgers, fries, and go buy some bottled waters. And for the homeless out there, I see, give them some food and water. I just me. I guess I will be doing this with a mask on and gloves. Um, but yeah, it's tragic. But. I love helping people who are in need. Other people tell me I have a big heart. I just do what comes natural. My dad brought me up that way. Go on.
I like these sweet tomatoes, they're different, different ones. He's got his TV loud. If you hear it, I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, I love these mushrooms. Mm. I can't wait. Here we go. Next week, looking for a house. Don't know what for because I don't plan on staying in Florida, but can't wait to the Packers move all our stuff so I can get into my stuff because I have my B Love sauce packets in one of my boxes. We actually got two miles and one spice. And I can't wait to use my love sauce. Would order some more, but like I said, we're not in this apartment that long. Um, I went one and sent it to a place that were only temporary here for a couple months. Get another bite. Some carnitas and white rice and onions. Here you go. Get that bite. Get it. Or just take that bite. Mm. It's all yummy. Now I got a lot of these carnitas left. So I might, I'm not sure. Tomorrow I'll make another video. With the carnitas and my favorite thing, big guy appetite got me used to my tostitas, salsa verde chips, and the Mexican lime mayonnaise. Just eat that and a carne asada on top of it for carnitas and more veggies because I love my veggies. Excuse me. Oh my god. It's so good. You guys want to see my little pup? He's so adorable. He's my service dog. Misery? Misery Nikki Jr. Here he comes. Come here, pup. Misery, come here. Here. He's cute. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. It's okay. Come here. Come here. He's half Mr. Pincher and half Yorkie. This is Misery, my little boy. He'll be seven years old, December 6th. What's going on with your insides? They are gurgling so much. I know you're not starving. You got plenty of food over there. Are you just not hungry and not eating? I know it's a big move for him, too. So he's going through a lot right now, too. You know, does he. He doesn't play like he used to when we were back in Kansas. Um, all he does is like hide his, and he takes off of his tail between his legs. Um, I don't know what's going on with him. 
Oh, Calvary. I might have both of that now. I don't think it's anything serious. I think he's just going through depression also. But he's my baby. He's my little boy. I have another one. She's full blooded Yorkie. But she's kenneled right now. So, hi. He's so adorable. But he is my service dog. Say hi, everybody. I smell food. Now you smell that food, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm all gonna go because he's shivery. There you go, baby. Have a good Have a good one. Bye, Papas. Bye. Going back to the bedroom. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's just been so depressed. And I think he feels. He's been gone for a long time. And then my friend that lives in Kansas. Oh, he was so attached to him. He might be missing him. Hmm. Really. So, um, let me see this video. Is there something you want me to try? Because I'm more of a healthy person because of my illnesses. But if there's something you want me to try, please let me know. Um, I don't do fast foods. I don't because it that will mess up my whole system so I will eat like I do mukmas with crabs and stuff like that have never tried mussels yet scallops and yeah I love sushi though I do love sushi They're so good. Mm. Yeah. Oh. It's good. That's so good. Okay. I don't want to overstuff myself. I'm not stuffed yet, I'm not even full. I'll get a little more. Because if I don't, if I put too much in my stomach, I'm not telling you to tell me eat. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, I hope that I can get this YouTube channel going. Since I can't work due to my disabilities. So. Mm. I'm supposed to have foot surgery to reconstruct my right foot because with my diabetes I got what they call charcoal foot. So, it's literally your bones crumbling like old cement. So, that's going to be wonderful. So whenever they do that, I have to stay off my foot for three whole months. No weight or nothing on it. And then, after that, physical therapy for who knows how long. And I'm going to put pins and plates in there. And after that, physical therapy. I have to be really careful on my foot because if I leave the fall slip or something and the plate breaks or the pin pop, just tell me how to use my foot. So my foot is actually healed the way it is right now in Kremlin. And I'm okay with that. Um, the only thing I would want them to do is I developed this bulge on the bottom of my foot. I would love them to take that off and smooth down the arch that broke and kind of went under my foot and filled up and just take that down a little bit and I'll be fine. Don't worry about the plates and pins. I mean, I've got my shoes or my diabetic inserts, you know, so, but, because I don't want to take that chance of losing a foot, you know, I did do the surgery and stuff, so I just had a brother 
um, moves his leg about three months ago, right below his left knee. He lost it because he can take care of his diabetes. Um, I have another brother who's a year older than me. He's in a wheelchair because all the pain and stuff that he's in, and the doctors won't believe him that he's in pain only because of that. He's schizophrenic, but that has nothing to do with the pain that a diabetic goes through with neuropathy. So he's in a wheelchair because he can barely walk because of all the pain. So no doctors want to help him, and it, it upsets me because my brother's very active, and he's just not active right now. And... I try to keep myself active. I still walk. I mean, with the way my foot is, I still go for walks and stuff. I just make sure I wear the high top shoes that I wear, my feelers and the inserts in them and stuff. Um, right now, I wish I had my black boots. I can start wearing that again. Medical black boots. But for now, it is what it is. So, diabetes isn't um, something to mess with. It, it took my oldest brother's life at the age of 47 and that was 10 years ago this past August so um, he didn't even know he was a diabetic he didn't know so he got viciously sick one day and the same time my mom ended up real sick too and found out she had colon cancer well she's a cancer survivor but unfortunately my brother didn't survive because he did drugs at the same time that he was a diabetic and didn't know so he was given nine months to live and he didn't tell anybody so it's all good he's in a better place especially with all the things going on right now you know um yeah that's that's where else is something else right now but I pray we would every day I'm glad I wake up every day I thank God for that I pray that everybody in this world will be safe um I pray for my family you know and stuff like that <laughs> it's it's something, it's a struggle right now, but like I said, I try to help people out as much as I can, and I plan on doing that this weekend, so, um, I might do a little video doing it, you know, I'm going to get the food and passing it out to homeless people, especially as veterans, um, there's a lot of veterans out here that are homeless, um, I did give a veteran, um, I think it was, the second day we moved out here, it might have been the day we were getting coming out here. He was underneath the bridge, and oh, his brother was under the bridge. His brother was uh, handicapped, and so he was a veteran. He was standing up in the corner trying to get money to feed him and his brother. So I gave him forty dollars to go feed him and his brother, and whatever the little surprise they need. He was so thankful and stuff. He started crying. So I do what I can. Um, I, I help family too, you know, I help my family if I need to. Um, I just always say I'll help when I can. And that means when I have the money. And so, um, that's just me. I've always been that way. I instill that in my youngest daughter and my oldest daughter. And my youngest daughter, whenever she sees somebody homeless, she goes and gets some food in the store. They're sitting right there at the store. She'll go buy them a sandwich from the store and a water bottle. Water and bring it out to them. They're very thankful for it. So, but anyways, um, I'm done. Uh, it was delicious. I love it. Um, I love this meal. So, I will have another video up next week. Um, like I said, leave in, com leave in the comments what you like me to try. Um, I, like I said, I'm new to Florida. I need to know what places out here in Florida is. Now, I did try Tijuana Flats. Their food's good. But, um, I'm more, like, into seafood and, oh, I love Mexican food. Um, I want to try Indian food. I don't know any place out here that's Indian food, uh, Thai food, um, whatever, you know. Just as long as I don't eat Burger King, McDonald's, or anything like that, or Wendy's, I don't do that. The only thing, the only fast food place I tried when I got here because they closed them in Kansas, was Backyard Burger. So, and I saw that, I was like, oh my God, I haven't had that in years. So, yeah, me, and my, me and my dad there got them and ate. <laughs> it was happy. I, I love their cobblers, so had to take extra insulin for that one, though. So, but anyways, everybody, I gotta go. I'm done. 
good cleanup. And like I said, like, subscribe, and leave your comments and what you would like me to try next and stuff. And I will see you next time. And next time, I will have a ghost story to tell you. All right? Love y'all. Bye.